<clears throat> Hello everybody, this is BC and Palomino coming at you out of nowhere. I would like to submit this as a YouTube video and I would like to just go ahead and give you guys another quick explanation or presentation as to how um, control hotkeys are used. So easy peasy. Let me just go through this really fast. It's very easy, very efficient, and then I'll give you guys a small idea as to how effective this can be. So let's we're going to go ahead and click on menu, go to hotkeys, we're going to jump to global, and we're going to go to camera, and here's where you want to be a little tricky. We're scrolling down to create location 1. Let's click alternative, shift F1, that is entered. We're going to go ahead to the next one, of course, shift F herpaderp 2. We're gonna go to the next one, shift herp a derp three. Go to the next one, shift herp a derp four. And henceforth, let's go down to at least five, as this makes us as sexually active as possible. I actually mix, mixed up this one, so let's cut that out and do five. As you see, location five was taken out. We'll fix that in just a second. Let's go ahead and add the jump location for location one is going to be F1, which does cut out a primary hockey, which is F1. So let's go ahead and uh, well, actually, I wanted I want to talk about that for a quick second. So what F1 originally does is it uh, groups up all your idle workers. So if you're in SE2 and you play SE2 and you find that you'll have a lot of idle workers at some time and you won't know where to find them. Go ahead and keep F1 and just use F2 through F6. That's fine. Nothing wrong with that. But if you actually find that through SE2 that you're you actually don't use F1 to find any idle workers, or maybe you're just actually maybe you just don't get that many idle workers in general. Go ahead and uh, recalibrate F1. It's not a big deal. We're gonna go ahead and add F2. Gonna go ahead and add F3. Gonna go ahead and add F4. Notice we're not actually Let's add a hockey here because we actually uncalibrated one. Um, so we got one, two, three, four, five. Let's add a six just to be on the good side. And I think we're going to be just fine right here. Uh, unit management, apparently we did take some off here. Let's see if we can find out exactly what we took off here. Idle workers, which we talked about. And that's going to be it. So it's really up to you if you want to start with F1 or if you want to start with F2 alright cool so we got that so let's go ahead and say okay I'm okay with that uh, do you wish to say this yes we're gonna call this Zerg easy peasy alrighty then the active hockey profile is stored on Valdonet you can name it whatever you want obviously alright so let's go to hockeys make sure we're on Zerg easy peasy we have our camera hockeys nothing else has changed just the camera hockeys that's exactly what we want. That's going to really wrap it up. Now I do want to go through a quick second just to give you guys an idea of what these camera hockeys do. So let's go ahead and jump into a silly custom game. Add an AI is going to be extra easy so that we don't get raffle stomped. And really what I wanted to show you is just a few key ways that these camera hockeys are really really going to make your game a lot faster, a lot more efficient, and just a lot easier as you try to juggle this and everything else that you want to do. So let's do that. Alright, so first off the back, we're not going to care about builds, we're not going to care about anything else except just, I just want to demonstrate these F hotkeys. Of course, we're going to split the little guys. going to add this to F1. Now here's the thing. Shift F1, one hotkey. One, one camera key. Shift F2, another camera key. Shift F3, another camera key. One, two, three, bada bing, bada boom. Let's get a ramp. That's going to be Shift F4. One, two, three, four. One, four, two, four, three, four. Notice how no matter what happens, no matter what we do, send all these guys over here, over here. No matter what we do, we can jump to the, the most key locations in the whole game just by a simple press of these F keys. And really that's the only that's really the biggest point is just to make your life easier. So that's really gonna wrap it up. Uh, if you guys have any questions do consider for putting it down in the uh, in the comments. Um, I'd love to go ahead and address them but this is what the F keys do is F1 let's say we're looking over here we're scouting with our drone we're moving into the base we want to make sure we build our extractor at the right time. We tap F1 and we can go ahead and build it if we want. 
let's say we're we're doing this we're doing this we want to whoa, whoa. look we had to tap F1 to get those drones right back let's say we're tapping here we're scouting around we want to build an, a hatchery on 15 all we got to do is tap F2 build it if you really want it but if we don't we can just tap F1 and what this just makes what's just what this just does is just make everything 10 times faster 10 times more efficient you will notice pro gamers Look at, I want you to just look at the minimap. You'll notice pro gamers just cycling through their camera hotkeys. You'll, you'll notice this um, just through watching. You'll notice if you look at the minimap, you'll notice them doing this. You know, something like this. You'll notice the boxes just jumping. And what they're doing is they're just cycling through their minimap. I mean, through their camera hotkeys, which means they're just warming up for the game to come. So I just wanted to bring that to you guys. Very easy to set up. And also, just very effective, man. Just makes, it'll just make your game, it'll just make anything feel ten times easier. So, without further ado, pleasure, pleasure, pleasure. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to submit them below. Giggity, giggity, goo. That's going to be the end of the YouTube VOD. Giggity, giggity, goo.